How are you? My name is Michelle Connor. I'm your VCS for Living Environment. Um, today we're going to be looking at the uh, barnacle uh, simulation. It's a barnacle competitive ecology virtual lab. Um, so what we're going to be looking at is the actual run of it and the student worksheet. Um, before we get there, there is some information in your PowerPoint. So just in case you're unfamiliar, um, the first bunch of slides is just for the teachers. Anything in gray helps with your lesson plan. When you get to this purple banner, the purple banner explains the question for the day. The pink banner explains the objective. The introduction and model is in yellow. Independent working is in green. Check for understanding is in orange. And our wrap-ups are in blue. Anytime you see a blue box, that is where your students can click to add information. And you want to make sure you go ahead and go file, make a copy of the entire presentation to put in your drive before you go ahead and give it to the students. So once you go ahead and learn about how the lab uh, works and the lessons work, you can go ahead and delete the first nine slides out and start at your purple banner for the day. That being said, there's a little bit of information before we start. So in your independent work, this is where it goes over um, the lab protocols. There's a student uh, lab worksheet. Anything in blue is a hyperlink to get you to um, the information that you need. Um, and there's also a little note about standard deviation. So a low standard deviation versus a high standard deviation is something you may want to go over with your students before you start the lab. Um, so when you go to a lab, you want to open the student lab worksheet and the interactive simulation. Um, so the lab worksheet is here, and the simulation is here. Um, so if we go ahead, I'll show you what it opens up to when you first get there. There is a tutorial that is built into the lab here. Um, and then you can go ahead and run experiments when you're ready. Um, it gives you all the information. The variables you can change are here. You can change them by hitting the up and down arrows um, for everything. Um, as well as it goes over, you could slow things down, speed things up to the data. You'll notice the data changing as you're sped up and the days of the experiment changing. And you could always go ahead and pause it and reset it. So day of experiment is now zero. And you can go back to the design here. So if we look at the experiments, there's a set value already there. Um, in the student worksheet, it goes ahead and goes over what you should set things as. So if you went ahead and played with things like I did, um, it does give you the option um, or information rather in order to set back the presets. Um, so it should say your sea levels at zero, your tide change, um, your two type of larvae and your uh, in snail density. Students are going to go ahead and run the experiment. So we're looking at a 10-day elapsed set of information. And what we're going to do is we are going to leave the settings here, speed things up as fast as we can, just to save some time. You want to click to data so you can see when the day is changing. And we're going to go ahead and pause it at 10. We're going to pause it. Now you'll notice here is our, so our rock wall is the, the rock behind here. You have your two sets of barnacles here. Um, the relative distribution is where they're located on the rock. And you'll notice the water level changes from high and low tide. You'll also see some little snails um, that are going to be kind of roaming around as well. So here's the set of information that the students are going to need for their sheets. So we go ahead and we do the trials for the first experiment and we look at the information. The second experiment changes the presets um, here. So they can go ahead and change the presets um, and then go ahead and run the lab for the next set of trials. So again, you're looking at 10 days. So what they would do is they'd figure out, um, so we're looking at CD level zero, tide change is three. Um, the first set of larvae is 20, uh, 2.5, the second set is zero, and then the snail density is three. 
So if we go to reset, we went at, so three, 2.5, we're gonna make this zero. And hit play. You'll go ahead and notice your reset will change the days of the experiment when you're playing. And then they can go ahead and look at the data. Which is going to be in here. So they go ahead, follow the presets that are given to them, and then go ahead and answer the question. So there's different sets of presets to um, determine what effects that they have overall.